Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you on stage Armin van Buren. Yeah, it's been very busy season in Ibiza, every Monday a privilege, and now here to present uh, something very special. Here. Yeah, I hear that even uh, sometimes you are having uh, performances which last up to seven hours. How do you manage that for yourself? <laughs> well, without a crowd it's impossible. You know, I feed the energy of the crowd when I see the people in front of me and they're dancing. Not sitting like right now, but people are standing up and dancing like this. You know? It's just, you get so much energy from the people and you see them jumping. And sort of, you know, you energize each other. So. Yeah, oh, that's good, yeah. Uh, we have been working for quite some time now to create some products together with your experience and our experience together. Uh, maybe it's a bit difficult to ask in front of so many people, but how was it actually to work together with my team and with your people? What is your experience there? Well, what's really great is uh, when we first had the, the meetings about this some time ago, I really found the passion for sound uh, with Philips, and I have the same thing, you know. Audio has to be perfect. You know, in my studio, I spend a lot of time on every little detail of the sound. And same goes for Philips. So that that uh, you know that those passions combined, I think, is a perfect match. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, would it be a good idea to just uh, show it a little bit around what we have been creating together? Yes, I'm very excited because we've been working on this and talking for so many times. Yeah. Finally, I can share the news with you here. Yeah. So I'm really 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 here. So, can you explain to the audience uh, what it actually is and what has been uh, created here? Well, maybe I should start by, by saying that um, many of my fans always ask me, you know, I want to be a DJ, what kind of stuff should I buy, and the equipment that we use is very expensive. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, now I can't learn. So, I was thinking, how can I create something uh, for beginners, uh, if you want to experience how to DJ live, and also uh, for people that want to DJ at home for fun yeah. or just have a great, a great thing. So what you see here, uh, it's actually uh, it's a controller, a DJ controller uh, with an iPad. You can also use your iPhone or whatever. Um, so the music uh, essentially comes from the, uh, uh, the iPad. And uh, a great uh, set of speakers. Um, it's not just a set of speakers, it's a really loud set of speakers. <laughs> I made sure that that, that, that that was the case, you know. Yeah. And, um, what I'm really proud of is that it's, it's sort of, it's very close to what I normally do when I DJ in a, in a room for a big audience. So I make sure when, uh, when we sit down for the design, uh, of course we have you know, limited space because you want to be small, you want to be able to carry it on an airplane, if you want to go have a beach party with your friends, it has to be portable. So it's I had a, it's portable. It's portable. I had a lot of demands and I really didn't think you guys could put it all into one box and it sounds really great too. So, um, maybe I just play, yeah, play something. Maybe before, I, before I ask you another question, sorry. Uh, how did you influence the design of this product? What, what kind of specific things you could put in as a specific requirement for you? Um, well, for example, uh, I wanted it to be portable. I had, I had this idea in my head that you could go on the beach and uh, party with your friends. And I also had the idea, for example, to, daisy, to be able to daisy chain. So if you buy one and your friend has one too, uh, you can hook them up, link them up. So, in theory, if you have 10 friends that all have the same thing, you can daisy chain and we have a huge PA system. And because it's portable, um, you can bring it on the beach and have a beach party. Oh, yeah. And if the police comes, you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, um, and also, uh, uh, what, uh, what I helped with the design is, of course, uh, I had to have a very small service, but put everything that I needed as a, as a teacher, the tools that I use a lot, well, we don't have a lot of uh, seven hours for you now to play. No, no. Would you like to uh, play something for for your ears? If you would like to, yes, yes, I do. <laughs>
demonstration, I'd like to show you what I would do on my headphones. Uh, here's a headphone jack. I use the Q button here and I can preview this mixer or this, this turntable. So I can select a track on this turntable and I have my selection of music that's on the iPad. And for example, I choose a you know, track. Also. So, see it loads the track onto the desk. That's the track. So, I'm looking at the BPM, it's 132, the record that's currently playing. I can use the tempo slider to slide it up to 132. EQ out the low frequencies. I really uh, encourage you guys to come and listen to the sound because it's really loud. <laughs> <laughs>